Hey everybody, Techie 101 here. A suit jacket makes everything classy. I gotta tell you right now. If, I, I mean, I, I was like not really dressed for a video, so I just threw this on. A, a suit jacket. That, yeah, I could be wearing torn rags right now, and this would still make me look awesome. But anyway, uh, okay, so a few vlog updates first. Uh, number one, I survived my first week of college. Uh, I did get a lot of work. I, I met my professors. They were really nice uh, for the most part. Uh, everything looks like it's going to be good. Uh, a very tiring week, if nothing else. A very exhausting week. Um, but now I finally have some time to myself, so I'm like, okay, make a video. And this video is going to be something that I was like, um, I was personally just thinking about today, just with one of my daydreams um, when I was supposed to be learning something in some class. Anyway, I, I was thinking about... Um, a few popular questions that keep turning up in my answer time videos because when I make an answer time video without fail I'm gonna get the same kind of questions over and over again uh, a lot of these questions I, I think I already answered one in my other video that said the end of bleach link to that right here uh, another one was um, like uh, what, what's, what, what's my top 10 anime or top 5 anime and every single time someone asks me that I always give them I always give them the uh, like like different anime for each one because I'm basically just pulling stuff off the top of my head um, so I might make another video for that later down the line. I might make a video where I just talk about my definitive 10 best anime that I actually sat down and thought about. So uh, look forward to that at some point in the near future. But uh, another question that pops up a lot is how I got into anime and manga. I'm like, okay, I haven't really went in depth into this. I haven't went into like great detail. So I'm going to make a quick video now just to tell you how I personally got into anime and manga. You know, what exposed me to it. And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, you can tell me your stories too. You can like respond to this and comments like how did you get into it too because it's a very interesting medium and um you know it's just that a lot of like everybody in my age was probably exposed to this stuff earlier on if they watched tsunami or something and it's just you know certain events that just made me more interested than anyone else but um we got to start with Toonami, obviously, because that's where it started with, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Gundam, which I didn't watch a lot of Gundam. I watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z and uh, Yu Yu Hakusho as a kid. Yu Yu Hakusho is probably my favorite, but here's the thing. I don't really consider that, even though those were anime, I don't really consider that something that really got me into anime, because here's the thing. When I was a kid, and this, this, this is going to sound so like stupid for me as a child, even, even as a child, you sh I should have known this, but when I was watching those as a kid, I didn't really know they were made in Japan. Honestly, I didn't really care. I mean, you're a kid. You know, you're a kid, you, you get home from school, you did your homework, you're flipping on Toonami, then you're watching Dragon Ball Z of Goku kicking the crap out of Cell, you know? You, uh, <laughs> who cares where... I'm like, I don't care where it's made. I don't care who animates this. I don't care who does the voice acting. It's, it's people... Mindless violence. That's all you care about when you're a kid. So, um, it may have been an anime, like one of the first early animes that I've watched, but it wasn't something that really got me into the exact culture itself, like, later on. Like, I wasn't watching, like, I wasn't researching this stuff, like Dragon Ball Z and Japanese and manga. I wasn't doing any of that as a kid, and I probably was never going to. Um, no, but the thing, the thing that really got me into anime, probably even, not, it's kind of a split here between Naruto and uh, Fooly Cooly. And those are two very different anime. But uh, Naruto aired on Toonami right around when I was getting to like the teen, like the tween ages, like 11 or 12, it started airing on Toonami. And it was at this point when I finally started realizing, because I, I think I saw it in a few magazines at this point. It wasn't shown in Jump. I'll get to that. But um, basically, I remember reading in some magazines or whatever that... Uh, um, that Naruto was Japanese anime, and I'm like, oh, what's this anime of, of which you speak? So I was starting to get a little bit interested in Naruto from there on out, but the thing that really clenched my interest, the thing that really got me pumped for anime was uh, Fooly Cooly, and it was completely by accident. See, here's what happened. I remember this so well. I still probably have the tape somewhere, but um, oh, I can... 2005? I can remember this so well. Okay, so... Um, before I go to bed every night, before I had school the next day, I would always videotape uh, Family Guy on Adult Swim because I just liked that show back then, Family Guy, and uh, it, it's not that funny as it used to be right now, but back then I loved it. It was really hilarious. So it would come on at like 11 o'clock at night, and I would have to go to bed before that, so I would videotape Family Guy, then wake up the next morning and watch it, um, and then go to school. I remember doing that so much. I used to do that every single night. And uh, one night, instead of setting the recording from, I think, 11 to midnight, because I think they were like on twice, 
Instead of setting it from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m., I set it from 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. to set to record a 12-hour period. Now, of course, 12 hours does not fit on one, uh, one tape. So the tape recorded maybe about from 11 to 3, about 4 hours of footage, and then the tape ended. But here's the thing. That particular night that uh, I decided to film was the exact same night that Toonami, not Toonami, that Adult Swim decided to premiere Fooly Cooly, and it was the first episode. And I remember just cutting, a, like, catching it after watching Family Guy. I remember watching this show. I'm like, this is awesome. This is the best show ever. And I can still remember this so well. This was a Friday. I spent that entire day watching that entire first episode. The whole day! The whole freaking day, that's all I did was just rewind and watch this same half-hour episode all day long. I don't, like, I look back on it now, I feel like a freaking idiot. I mean, but, um, like, I have no life, but I kind of didn't. I was, like, 13 years old, but I remember just watching it all day that day, and then for most of the next day, too, and I just, I never got sick of it, even the same thing over and over again. Um, and I still have the tape somewhere. I, I must have worn out that tape, but I, I made careful, ca ca uh, very careful care of that tape. I labeled it, I was putting, like, keeping that tape safe, because, um, I, I, I don't remember watching any episodes out of that, but here's the thing, that kick-started my interest. Um, I was on my, you know, the crappy dial-up internet at this point. I was on my dial-up internet trying to watch Japanese episodes of Fooly Cooly over Google Video Search or whatever, back when Google Video Search was like beta testing or whatever. I remember doing that. I remember having to wait two, three hours for a for a 30-minute video to load. I remember that so well. And I gladly waited for it to watch this. It was just so incredible. So, uh, from there on out, that's basically, Fooly Cooly got my, got my interest in, uh, in anime right there. After that, I started, um, getting into Bleach after that on, on Adult Swim. Um, Bleach, and then followed by that, we got a little bit of, I, I watched a little bit of Full Metal Alchemist. That wasn't really my thing, but I watched it a lot. And, uh, from there, we just went to everything pretty much. So I got to thank Fooly Cooly for getting me into anime because that was the thing that just sparked my interest. And, uh, you know, it's just something I really, just, just how off the wall crazy it was. It just, you know, related to me so well. So, uh, you know, if you, if you want to get into anime, watch Fooly Cooly. It's great if you're wondering, like, this is what anime in essence kind of is. It's just this wacky genre that, not all anime is like that, of course, but Fooly Cooly just captured it really well for me, and that's what got me into it. And it's still probably to this day probably my favorite anime. If I ever was going to make a top ten list, I would probably have to put Fooly Cooly probably in the top spot because that that's something amazing. So um, that was anime. Now for manga. Manga is actually another one of those stories where it just it happened but completely by accident. Uh, one night. I was at uh, my, like Walmart with my mom. I was like grocery shopping. This was actually probably around the same year I discovered Fully Cooly. I was probably 13, 14 years old. And uh, I remember seeing this magazine, this Shonen Jump magazine. And I remember there was a cover that the DBZ cast was on the cover. And I really liked DBZ at this point. So I'm like, oh, wow, DBZ, that's so cool. And, um... I asked my mom to buy it for me, but I had no idea what it was because it was in like, this was one of the issues that was like, it was coated in plastic wrap, so I didn't know what was inside it. So I bought this, and I'm looking at it, it's like DBZ's on the cover, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! was on the cover, Yu-Gi-Oh! was something else I was really into back then, and um, I remember asking my mom to buy it for me, and she bought it, it was like, like, I don't know, five or six bucks, wasn't that expensive. Then I remember opening it, and I remember feeling kind of odd because when I opened it, it was just black and white comics, and I'm like this is what this is. I, I mean, I thought I was going to open up to read about maybe some kind of like like upcoming episodes or upcoming like movies or something. I didn't like something in color. I was not expecting comic books. And I remember I struggled so hard to read it because I didn't know how I was supposed to read them. I was like, this is so confusing. How do I read this book? Because uh, up to that point, you know, I was in middle school, English classes. Everybody's telling you, you know, you read this certain way, you do this. And this was telling me something like, read. I'm supposed to read this backwards now? So uh, that's how I got into manga in a nutshell. I just, I just, I just found it completely by accident. And then it just, I was, I, I was honestly kind of disappointed at first. But then after a while, I started reading. And, and I discovered that the manga was actually a little bit more darker than the anime. I remember reading... Um, it was the Yu-Gi-Oh! chapter. It wasn't an anime. It was like in Season Zero when uh, Bakora trapped Yu-Gi and all his friends in that RPG world. And uh, I remember reading about that. And that was really cool. Uh, whatever DBZ chapter I was reading. And it's just, it's something that, it just, it was just different. It was just different and I wanted to learn more. So after that I started buying more and more issues of Shonen Jump. Um, 
I never got I never got uh, subscribed to it, but I remember buying the issues a lot after that. We're making my parents buy the issues after that. So uh, you know that that's that's how I got into it after that. And for a while, I was just um, to go from there. I was just kind of the kid that you know. I, I mean, I would bring my manga books to high school and just read them in study hall. I remember like I was the only guy that did that, and. Uh, I remember doing that. I remember people talking like, like even the teachers at some point, like Matt, what, what the hell are you reading? And um, and I, it's just something like I kind of, I kind of stood out from everybody else just because of that. I felt kind of like an outcast, but that's kind of how I was through high school. I just kind of kept my head down, kept to myself a lot. And um, you know, there was like maybe two other people in, in my high school that even knew what anime even was, so I talked to them about it. But uh, for the most part, though, I was just this kid that that read backwards Japanese comic books. And, uh, and and watch Japanese shows and stuff and listen to Japanese music. So that was really, really what set me apart. But then finally, uh, one day out of the blue, I just decided, hey, let's talk about this on YouTube. That's basically what happened. I didn't have any prep for that whatsoever. I'm like, one day out of the blue, I'm like, you know what? I like that recent Bleach chapter. Let's talk about it on YouTube. So that's what I did, and here we are today. Um, oh, how I got started. This isn't really that much of a story so much as... Uh, just uh, like just discovery. I mean, I remember that uh, I had to wait every week for Shonen Jump to come out to read the recent Bleach chapter. It wasn't until 2009-ish I finally discovered, hey, wait, you can read this on the internet. Hey, wait, they're like 200 chapters ahead of us. And I, I started reading it on the internet after that. Um, I remember I started reading Bleach on the internet around uh, right when the fight at Fake Car Crowtown arc was getting started. Right when. Um, the, the battle for the pillars was just ended, and now the actual fight was starting against the Fraxiones. That's when I remember reading about that. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys, you know, because I got a lot of questions about that, like how I got started with anime and manga. That's my story. Um, it ended up a little bit longer than I wanted to, but, you know, whatever. You know, it's just something that defines me, something that I enjoy, and you guys apparently enjoy me talking about it. So here we are. Um, uh, something quick, just a video I wanted to get out just for the sake of making a video. I don't want you guys to think I got lazy. I mean, I'm sure you understand college and work and everything, but I still, if I don't make more than like a typical manga review every week, I, I feel a little bit lazy, so I want to post something on the channel, if nothing else. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, Techie101 signing out. Suit jacket for the win.